Now that we have created queues, let's see what routing profile is and how to create one. A routing profile is a way to group agents based on queues and the communication channel that is chat or voice. In order to create a routing profile, go to users and click routing profiles. And you will see the basic routing profile that was created automatically when Amazon Connect was set up. Now let's go ahead and add few routing profiles. I'll click add new profile. And the first profile that I'm going to create is for handling the sales calls. So I'll type the name as sales routing profile voice and give it a description. And for the channel, I'll select only voice. We'll discuss about chat in greater detail in the upcoming videos. But for now, let's just focus on voice. Next, I'll select the queue from which the agents of this routing profile will receive the calls from, which is the sales queue and I'll leave the option voice selected. Priority and delay are used when multiple queues are assigned to this routing profile. We'll look into that in a minute, but for now, I'll leave the priority as one and delay as zero seconds. And for the default outbound queue, I'll again select sales queue and click add new profile. Next, let's create a routing profile that will handle two queues, sales and customer service. So I'll click add new profile. Enter the name as customer service sales routing profile voice and I'll give it a description. Again, I'll select only voice, then select customer service queue, leave the channel as voice, priority as one and delay as zero and then click add queue and select sales queue. I'll leave the channel as voice and now for priority, we will set it as two. So what this basically means is that the customer service queue which has priority one will be the primary queue and sales queue with priority two is the secondary queue for this routing profile. So the agents in this routing profile can receive calls from both these queues. However, they will receive the calls from the sales queue only if there are no calls waiting in the customer service queue. Similarly, if you add another queue, let's say text support queue and set the priority as three, then these agents will receive calls from the tech support queue only if there are no calls waiting in the customer service queue and the sales queue. Now delay is a slightly different concept. Let's say if I put the priority for sales queue also as one, then calls from both the queues will be treated equally. However, if I add a delay of let's say 60 seconds for sales queue, then only the calls that have been waiting for at least 60 seconds in the sales queue will be treated as priority one. Now let's say if I set the priority for sales queue back to two, then the agents will receive calls from sales queue only if there are no calls in customer service queue and the calls in the sales queue have been waiting for at least 60 seconds. All right, so for now I'm going to change the delay back to zero seconds and set the default outbound queue as customer service and click add new profile. Finally, let's create one more routing profile for technical support, so I'll click add new profile, enter the name as technical support routing profile voice, then enter a description, select voice, then select the queue technical support, and I'll leave these options as they are. Then select the outbound queue as technical support again, and click add new profile. All right, so now we have three new routing profiles. Let's go ahead and create few more user accounts and add them to these different routing profiles. So I'll go to users, user management, click add new users. And this time, let's use the bulk upload option. So I'll select upload my users from a template. And I have already downloaded this template and prepared the list of users to be added. Let me open that CSV file and show you. All right, here you go. I've filled in all the required details here. There are a total of 11 users. So once we upload this, we should have a total 13 users, including the two existing users. All right, so I'll close this and click next. Click choose file. And I'll select the file then click upload and verify. And here you can verify all the user details. Then click create users. Once all the users are created, you should see the status as done.
Now I'll click back and I see all the 13 users. Now let's go and change the routing profile for John Doe to customer service and that way we have four users in each of the routing profiles. So I'll click John Doe, edit and change the routing profile to customer service and click save. Now if we go back to the routing profiles page, you can see the number of agents staffed as four for each of these profile. All right, in the next video, we will discuss about contact flows.